the music I used to listen, uh, but it's not like a, a vocal, a human vocal, but it's a orchestra music, uh, but easy listening. And uh, the particular genre of easy listening, uh, you know, about uh, 1976, I came to the U.S. and uh, you know something uh, easy listening was very popular. <sighs> However, uh, some young people uh, look down upon it because uh, it's you know it's like elevator music or you know it's nothing uh, spectacular, uh, nothing memorable, but it's kind of a soothing music then. And uh, so at that time when I was younger, I didn't feel like I should be listening in, you know, intentionally. But over the years, I uh, became to like, like some of the, the orchestra or some of the uh, uh, group that make the, those kind of music. First of all, it's uh, Ray Connish singers. Ray Connish singers are uh, Mostly, I think they, they started like uh, oh, late 50s maybe and uh, uh, music is more or less like a uh, Ray Conniff's arrangement which is I thought at that time very uh, contemporary, very sharp, uh, very clever uh, I would say. So you know, I like some of those and I kind of collected uh, uh, his LPs and stuff. Uh, I think there are some classical, very popular albums that uh, I really liked. But mostly uh, those music, his music 1970s, 1980s, uh, is like uh, you take this popular hits or current popular hits uh, blockbuster hits and uh, they sing in the chorus Ray Conniff singers uh, chorus and uh, this particular arrangement of Ray Conniff is very light very upbeat uh, very uh, uh, very uh, refined arrangement I, I thought and I like that uh, uh, arrangement uh, so you know, 1980s even, I really liked the arrangement. And of course, uh, Ray Conniff has uh, this Christmas carols album, which is wonderful. So I really like that. Uh, so uh, besides Ray Conniff, the uh, one other American, uh, the band or whatever, is uh, Percy, Percy Faith. Percy Faith is the uh, you know, like a, um, I would say, uh, the summer praise. That 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 that. Da 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 da. This is a movie. Uh, I don't know the name of the movie, but uh, Sandra D and Troy Donahue. Uh, I think at the uh, Italian resort or something. Uh, so that particular music was a big hit all over the world. Even today, I think if you uh, listen to them, uh, listen to it, I think you you are astounded how great that particular music is. Pacifist also uh, probably 1970s, 80s. Um, change their style uh, incorporating the choruses. I think uh, uh, influenced by Ray Conniff's success, uh, you know, Pacific started to accommodate their uh, chorus and uh, some of the album at the time is all singing and uh, with the, the, this chorus, male chorus, female chorus together, mixed voice and uh, it's wonderful and I really love uh, like uh, his renditions of uh, Happy Together This is uh, I think uh, Hamann's Hermit's song I think 
British songs, but uh, you know the arrangement by Percy Face was wonderful. So <coughs> I really like that, and uh, uh, so you know. Uh, other than that, you know, there's a lot of lots of group like a Johnny Man singers. I really liked. I used to like their albums, and I used to own their uh, LPs. And uh, right now, trying to find their LPs in CD form, and it's very very difficult. It's rare to find those, and I kind of miss some of the albums uh, that Johnny Man singers created. And uh, Johnny Man Singers also has his own ideas and uh, uh, you know, style, probably. But it's all singing chorus uh, group. And uh, yeah, those things. And also, uh, not the least, but the last one is the uh, Henry Mancini's. Henry Mancini is, I think, uh, you usually associate with movie soundtrack music. And uh, so, you know, charade, uh, the day of one of roses, blue river, that sweet heart tree, and all these great, great uh, songs. I think these particular songs are. Uh, composed by Henry Mancini uh, but the lyricist could be you know different like uh, sometimes Johnny Mercer like Moon River but uh, all kinds of different uh, uh, lyricists associated with it but uh, uh, most of them he's original and I really love uh, their uh, songs and uh, so Henry Mancini also has uh, his own renditions of uh, somebody else's work, like uh, Nino Rota's uh, Romeo and Juliet. And he played with uh, uh, his orchestra and his piano solo, which is very, very beautiful. And then it became uh, like a number one hit or something in the US. And so uh, those music, I really, really uh, cherish. And uh, I really, really uh, appreciated that they had they created and uh, during that time also there's a lot of uh, uh, other group like a Mount Bernie, Mount Bernie Orchestra and uh, from France uh, Paul Moria, Raymond Rufebo, uh Frank Chaxfield all these orchestra music uh, play mostly like a movie music, movie soundtrack, or something like that. And uh, some of them, you know, gosh, I, uh, Francis Ray, uh, you know, da da ba, da ba da ba da, da ba da ba da, da da da, da ba da ba da, da ba da ba da. This is the Man and the Woman, a French film, uh, theme song, and uh, you know, played by Francis Ray. Uh, it's beautiful and it's very, very memorable and at that time those music are very popular, kind of popular but not uh, really uh, oh, in the mainstream uh, you know chart topping uh, music uh, you know that's why people say that that's more or less like elevator music that you you listen to the uh, elevator or the uh, medical uh, office or uh, somewhere in the waiting room or something like that and the radio station also has dedicated to the kind of uh, easy listening music so that was like 1970s 80s uh, 90s maybe uh, I really really uh, like uh, that type of genre existed at that time uh, and uh, now even today uh, I almost feel like uh, I should get some of those, and I, I have some. I have a Henry Mancini's, uh, Percy Faith, and uh, uh, well, who else I have? Uh, Paul Moria. Uh, yeah, something like that. I really like those. And so, 
Yeah, I think uh, kind of interesting. The the music uh, could be very very different for uh, you know everybody else. Uh, I would say you know this a very very comfortable, easy listening type of music is uh, more or less like uh, you you kind of wind down and you feel like you relaxed. And uh, you don't mind listening to them, even though it's not essential to listen to them. Uh, but uh, uh, some of the people, I think, uh, uh, some of the affectionado of those easy listening music, I uh, really admire those people who who kind of are dedicated to listen to those. And uh, of course, it's uh, it's orchestra, therefore it's a much much more rich sound, more. Uh, broader uh, you know sounds uh, qualities there and so yeah so, yeah I think uh, those things you know compared to classical music classical music is more like uh, you are uh, listening to it and you are seriously uh, paying attention to uh, their uh, music but uh, easy listening you don't have to, you know, you may be washing dishes or you are uh, having coffee with somebody talking to, to them, uh, something like that, but the music is uh, still needed for that kind of environment. And so uh, they are very variable things. Uh, today, I don't know, I think still those genres exist uh, still, but I don't think many people are appreciating and uh, that much. I think that's how the, the music scene changes uh, very rapidly, kind of, uh, year by year. And uh, people taste changes a lot. And uh, jazz used to be 1960s. The jazz music was very, very popular. And uh, but popular among the, those people who knows about jazz. I think uh, that's what the very click people who appreciated those music. But today, jazz is more like easy listening. And uh, 1980s, 1990s, uh, become like a tremendously melodious, beautiful uh, jazz music, uh, you know. Uh, so that's also very interesting. So I don't know that, uh, you know, the, just because you, you, you have a life, uh, the only life you you lived, you know, all through the years, 1940s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000, 2010, 2020, uh, you lived all these things. That you are exposed to the uh, those music that you know people listening during that particular period, and you are influenced by it too, and so yeah, uh, I think the popular music is very interesting in a way uh, because it doesn't stay there forever like classical music. Uh, it just uh, became popular and uh, become very obsolete after a couple of years. And uh, But still, I think there's a reason why uh, those music existing. Music itself is, I think, a very soothing, uh, relaxing and uh, a healing quality to it. And uh, so um, I think uh, uh, I tend to be, you know, kind of uh, going back and uh, the, trying to look at uh, those uh, um, music I grew up, like, uh, you know, 60s and 70s music. And, uh, the, you know, uh, those music, still CDs and so forth, are available. So, yeah. I love music and uh, yeah, I talked about uh, classical music a while ago, uh, but popular music is also wonderful. And uh, also I talked about uh, vocal music, like uh, Franz Schubert's uh, leader and uh, you know, Frank Sinatra's jazz, Ella Fitzgerald's singing, and uh, those are wonderful. And I love that, but uh, orchestral, easy listening also. I think there's a place in the, in my heart, yeah.